no mai hoki an, hoki mai anō koutou a uh, kina whiringa whaiti o tēnei kaupapa o te whakataitei nei a te paporo kakama uh, mona kura tuarua putanoa i te motu we're moving on to our girls final now congratulations first and foremost to our tukura uh, Forest View High School and Manurewa High School my name is Harley Wall joined again to help bring you the action I'm joined by uh, Jen Tafare. Now, Jen, one thing I've noticed today, uh, especially in a lot of the games that I've watched today, the girls' game, the girls' grade in general, uh, it's just been so competitive, and it's really exciting to see some of the athletes that are coming through. Yeah, totally, and especially the female athletes. Like, females have so many opportunities to play different codes nowadays and, you know, hold their own against the boys, and you see that especially in the mixed grade, but it's awesome to see so many girls' teams out there um, and I'm sure we're going to see some exciting action today. The two best teams so far in today's action have progressed on to our final. Uh, kaore e roa, ka timata te kemu. Uh, ai, ka tangi te pere, ka timata te kemu. First touch, Fraser, oh, sorry, for Forest View High School. And that's touch one. Te tahi anō pā, kei te mai. He maka tōmuru. And Manurewa High School now in position to, to strike and, and look to see what options they can create. A little bit of a rush start. Kia tau, kia tau. Koe rā te, te tūmanako, a te wawata, a te, te kaiwhakaako, a ki nā tauira i te wānei. You can see definitely a lot of nerves out there on the, on the court. Probably the biggest game of turbo touch some of these girls have probably ever played. And another turnover just there for the second touch. Forest View High School. Oh, great intercept there. Haukotingia uh, here. Manurewa High School. Kotahia no pā, kei te haere pai. Kua piro a Manurewa High School. Ai te piroanga. We'll have another look at this too. Just some great rugby, rugby league skills. That's what we like to see in Turbo Touch. It's a mixture of all different types of combinations and skills. A little bit of netball. Throw it in the mix and that's what you get. Out pops Turbo Touch. I think that's what I love about watching the girls play is they bring their netball skills into play. They read the space really well. Um, in netball we do a lot of draw passing and that's what turbo touch is you know really about in terms of creating space and the girls do it real well it looks like that was a, a, touch, a touch number two so no try that time but uh forest view high school oh no it looks like it's a uh he harmony for karangatia air to kaiwawa and we'll just send a quick mihi to sky and to henry our, our officials for today's girls final. Periana te puro, engari aware ake kwataka. Now, Forest View High School were one of the schools I officiated this morning. Very, very strong schools with ball in hand. Mehemea kataya area. Te mahinga tahiana. Aye. Great try, Forest View High. Keep an eye out for those two. Great combination there, just a little sneaky pass. Yeah, she came out of nowhere. I don't think anyone was expecting her to come through there and score, so that was really tricky. Pahi anō, ko tahi anake. We'll look to see if they uh, use their flick-ons again, engari. Kei, kei te tu hapa ia. She was in an offside position. E re re tonu ana te, te pūru. I think I like the fact that they're willing to um, run through that zone though. It, even though they're not allowed to stand in it, they're not. They're willing to take the risk to get over to the other side and get the quick pass. And they're using the ball really well for us view. So be interesting to see how this half finishes up. I've noticed already Forest View High School really working combos of two. So we'll see if that's uh, Hero Taki Kate Fai Tonu Rato. So whether that's a strategy that they'll continue to look through. 
This is game number five for both teams. So e kitiana uh, tato mehemea penginga hariana. Let's see if the uh, fitness starts to play a part in the game. Yeah, I think Manurewa are doing well to stop their flow at the moment. They're dis disrupting it. They're getting little tips in here and there. Not quite able to gather it, but they're definitely slowing it down. E rangi nua, rua ana, uh, te kapa Manurewa High School. So it looks like they tapped the ball off the mark. Oh! Hi, nice. Arato Mahi. Yeah, yeah, so great work there. Just being deceptive. Playing eyes up footy. And acknowledging the space and making the most of it. Rua Kite Tahi, Forest View High School, Arno. They're not afraid to let the ball go. They just kind of catch and release straight away, and it's working to their advantage. Yeah, that's right. They also had a boys' team here from Forest View High School. So awesome to see so many schools from, from the South Waikato make the big venture up. And of course also for Manurewa, uh, their boys team, to my knowledge, I think they're in the final next as well. So awesome to see uh, the South Auckland schools doing well too. Hatu Arua. Great pass, just didn't quite go to hand. Farmanati. Toritako here, Konae, Toyana. Forest View High School, Keara Taute, Te Puro. Hako Tahi. Yeah, I think the offside rule just tends to get, you know, when a, when a defender's giving two metres, it's so deceptive. The players are unsure whether or not they can run, run through it. And obviously, there is the rule if you run into a defending player that is standing two metres back, then it is considered initiating a touch. So, you know, I think. We can be smarter about how we play around that rule and get the speed of the game. Ooh, Tatana, Engari. Uh, Kotu Hapa here, so she was offside. Manurewa High School, E9 and A. Pakotahi. Faya Tonutia. Kitona Hoa. Kwapa Kaurira Nei. Yeah, I think that's the right call. Just a touch came on the back first. It's a tough gig being the referee, of course. It's all about the angles and where you're standing just to make sure that you get the right decisions. I like that Forest View aren't, aren't afraid to go backwards to go forwards. Yeah, that was great defense from Manurewa, but Forest View, that Forest View player was just too quick. She just got around the outside and gassed it up the court and now they're on their end zone looking to score. And touch number two, Pātuarua, Kua Pāngea, Manurewa High School in INA, Pākotahi. E kite ana, e kite ana. Opportunity now. Pākotahi. Forest View High School, lots of space around the end zone. Kaha te whakatau a nā kai wawao. Ai, ko tūhapa te kōrero a te kai wawao, Henry, love is kagni. Rua te kai meniti. E toi ana. Nice little give and go there from Manurewa. Yeah. Uh, Forest View High School. Oh, one we haven't seen much today, but it looks like Forest View. Too many players on. Oh, Etu Hapana, Forest View High School. Oh, no. Offside call against Manurewa High School. So Forest View will maintain position. Play on call from the referee. Bit of juggling going on. Pākotahi. I love how quick they use the ball around the um, scoring zone. 
and not afraid to just flick it on. Yeah, then also not afraid to to, go, to look into the dives as well. Mehemia. Hewa, hewa, hitia. Inui arato. So if there's space, got to take it. Yeah, Boris Bu are doing a great job on defense and attack. See the speed through the court. Oh, she just ran through. <laughs> Offside. Rua ki te tahi, tai tonu mai, te karanga ake hafe. Oh, nice bit of footwork from yeah, the number great. three. We know Manurio are very strong with the oval ball sports, both in rugby but particularly in rugby league. Their girls were national champions last year. I'm sure there'll be a few girls that also play rugby league in this Manurio team and they've managed to square it up. E ori te ana te tatau inui te hafenga. Rua ki te rua, Manurewa High School. Great job there just before half time. Last play. Oh! oh! Did she step in there or is it a try? Kaore Rane. Oh. It looks like it was the border ground. So it's half time, it's anyone's game. Very different to our last game. Rua ki te rua, Manurewa High School. Forest View High School, Motunu Mai Eti. We don't go anywhere. We'll be back very shortly with the second half. This isn't about cameras. It's about getting a better shot. So you can get a better result. A great photo of your property is more important than a picture of our agent. No time to fluff around today? No worries. Just swing into Caltex and pay for fuel with Pay and App to speed on through. Oh yeah. Feels good. Use it at your local participating Caltex. No hooky mine, no kake mai ki te hafi tu arua o tenei fitting a fighti wanga nui na tima arua Manurewa High School Forest View High School. This is the girls' final here at the Turbo Touch Secondary School Champs Atui Waitakere i Trust Stadium. It's been a great game so far. Anyone's game, a little flick pass, sneaky one there. Forest View High School. Engari hau katingi e Manurewa High School. Kote pa ko tahiira. First touch there, of course. The first touch off the intercept was zero. And a great defense, Forest View High School. Here's their chance now to, to make an opportunity out of it. Let's see what the referees have to say. It was a tight one, because it looks like it could have been an offside call or a ball to ground, so. Oh, and that's a good example of, I guess, getting that quick tap and getting past the defender. Yeah. She was just unlucky to, to lose control of that. And the same again. It looks like an offside call. Uh, hukia mai anō, or whaka hukia mai anō, uh, te pōro e Forest View High School i naia nei. Engari, kua taka. Similar to the start of the first half. Few nerves. It's a tight game. Kowai kahua, kowai katohu. They like to use the side of that court, Forest View. They tend to um, take take the ball up along the side of the court, use their speed. Yeah, you see different variations of strategy. Some go through the middle, some go through the side. Whatever works for each team. To some... me, I still think the most important thing is movement. Aye. Oh, here's an opportunity. Pako Tahi. That was a good touch. Yeah, Paitana Mahi. Uh, te Kayarai. Oh, Hai Kotini Manurewa. Space now. Opportunity. Oh, nice touchdown. Tarai time. Oh, oh whoa, whoa, whoa. no, no try. It looks like the feet were inside Let's see the. See what the replay says. 
These are always tough calls to make, but I think the referees might have been right. I they think her just... foot was on the line. Yeah. It's a, it's a real challenge, unfamiliar to other sports, where you've got to really control your feet and balance before grounding. Most sports, particularly like touch and rugby and rugby league, you're able to just carry your whole self over. So that balance really plays an important part in, in turbo touch. Especially on a fast break like that, you're moving so quickly, you don't always see where the, the scoring zone is, and she just got all the way to the edge and couldn't stop. To Hapana, Amanurewa, Fakahukia Mayanoa, a Forest View High School te poro, ki tora te wake pai piro i nai nei. Great defense, Manurewa High School. Advantage being played. And that was good urgency from the Forest View player. She wanted to get away, and she did. And we've spoken about that offside rule. You've got to give two minutes, uh, two meters. Forest View took it. Full advantage of it. Ah, well, fight people. And another great touch. Transition time. Forest View High School. And another great transition as well. She caught the defender unawares and, and unfortunately it didn't pay off, but it was great. Great transition. And great pressure applied for Manure with that time. She was miles away, but she managed to still apply pressure. Off an intercept. She can score. One of the quirky rules in Turbo Touch from an intercept, you don't have to follow the two pass rule. Me fight to new quirky, te pai piro a kapiro tia. Fa kiterua, Forest View High School. Great defense. Oh, and she gets away. And this is the great thing about Turbo Touch. Like Harley said earlier, you can go right through the middle, you go up the sideline, that's what they just did. Nice fast break up the court. You can find strategy from other sports, but at the same time, you just play what's in front of you. So while teams like both of these, Forest View High School in particular, they love to go down the side of the field, um, they will always play what's in front of them if, if the options are on. It's on. Pā kotahi, pere pere ana e mari kua taka. Forest View High School using the clock now. They know there's an advantage. Poe anora. Pā kotahi. And an offside call. Great oh, that was work. A beautiful little tip off. However, it was offside call first. Uh, oh. Nope. Again. Etuhapa na Forest View. Etuhapa ana Hoki Amanudewa. The game getting a little bit scrappy. Both teams really fighting it out, but just making some minor mistakes as they progress. Yeah, I think the pressure's coming on now, especially in a close game. You know, Manurewa are trying to catch up. Um, that's when we start to apply pressure and make, make some mistakes. Whaki te rua. Toru Minuti. Toru Tukau he kona hoi. E toi ana. Great passing. Wanganui te tuku rua ra. Pa tua rua. Kwa pāngia, e manu i rewa, kei a rātou te pūro nau. Evasive skills, pā kotahi. Oh, nice little pop-off. Space. What's the call here? He maka tōmuri, yeah, touch and pass being called just in the middle of the field, unfortunate. Of course, within turbo touch, we've got the option of the flick on. It looked like the ball was caught, so it wasn't passed in time. Park Otahi. Forest View High School with all the space. So what is the definition of a flick on, Harley? Is it is it fingertips? It can't be fully held? Yeah, that's what I would consider a flick on. Anything with the fingertips, so nothing that's been caught by the palms. 
here we can see Manu Reva still hunting. It might be on here. And it looks like Wapiro Kearato Fakite Toruwi Nayane Timataria Ano a first view high school. Uh, Tiro here, Ano Tia. Yeah, that was a textbook turbo touch play. Draw the defender and see the open space and, and let the ball go. Kotarua te Fakatawa te Kaiwa Wau. Pa Suarua. Kare Rua. Katai mai te mutunga o te kemu. Whā ki te toru. Whā ki te taha o Forest View. The game slowing down, becoming more tactical. Oh, here's a break. Oh, we still need to get one pass away. I think that was it's only, only one, one pass. pass. Yeah. yeah, unfortunate. Kare rātou i te mōhio. Me pāhi anō. Great option for a flick on there. Oh, and again, just a quick passing game. Mai tētahi, taha ki tētahi atu. Fiua, fiua, piroa. Great try there from Forest View High School. Is that enough? Manurewa High School strike back. There's still 40 seconds to go. Plenty of time and turbo touch to get a touchdown. It's about being smart now. Rima Kitefa. Oh, not very much time to go, Manu Dewa. I think this is where defense comes into play. That's right. Teamwork, the dream work. So what happens, Harley, if we were to get to a draw? If we get to a draw, to my knowledge, and again, I'm not an expert, but I believe it's one minute of extra time. But I don't know if we're going to need it. Forest View High School, our 2023 secondary school turbo champs in the girls' grade. Kite wa hanga wa hine. I eke a Forest View High School. Kamehia ke kia rātou. Kare rātou i hinga i tēnei rā. I toa i ngā kemu katoa. And a fully deserved win. Forest View High School it was hard. They, they were made to work from it, and it could have been anyone's right till the very end. Manu Dewa gave her a great fight. I am. That's two two titles down in the South Waikato now with the yeah. Tukurua, uh, mixed team and the Forest View girls team. So it will be interesting to see how the boys' final plays out. Yeah, that's right. We can see the two teams showing sportsmanship, showing Afi Atui. Ah, tētahi atu, tētahi ki tētahi atu. Kaore e roa, ka whai mai i tēnei kemu. Ah, ko te whiringa whai te iwaimanu i nga tāne. So it looks like the boys game will be up next. Two Auckland sides will be taking the court. I believe it's Manurewa High School and Kelston Boys High School. We'll see... Who will be at the victor in that grade? But of course, we're going to go down now uh, to the side of the the court. Kawe e hare tafiti atu koto. We've got some more action. Stay tuned right here on Māori Active for Kata Māori for the Turbo Touch Secondary School Champs. Alrighty folks, uh, we are now uh, presenting our next award. This is the New Zealand Carbon Farming How Green Is Your Team Award for Sustainability. I've got Jamie here from Kaipara College. Here's your laminated award, my friend. You are our winner. Congratulations. How have you found today? Oh, it's been amazing. Tell us how green is your team. Give us the, the sustainable tip of a lifetime. How do you keep your your team green? Of a lifetime, I'm not too sure, yeah. but for our team, it's always about um, giving them some food so that they can train hard and then making sure that we chuck that rubbish from, yeah. their, from the food into the bin. Yeah, recycling, eh? Yeah, recycling. And, yeah, just giving them a good environment for them to thrive and train and play. 
play the best that they can. I don't know about you at home, but I feel greener already. Thank you very much. Congratulations, Jamie. Copa College. Finals up next.